Hey, hello everybody. Biscuit and I are back again. We're going to open up some more seeds packets and talk about a couple more companies. Uh, like I said on our other video, we ordered a bunch on uh, Sunday and these came in on Thursday. So that's a pretty good turnaround. So stick around and see what we got and learn about a couple more companies. Hello everyone and welcome back to Wall Street Homestead. I'm Andy and this is Biscuit. We're here this evening to talk about a couple of more seed companies and uh, uh, open up the uh, orders that we got from them. And I want to say a big thank you to my wife Ann who's running the camera this evening. So she's behind the scenes tonight. Hello. And anyway, so we'll just jump right in and get started. The first one we're going to be doing is Johnny's. Uh, I think I mentioned them briefly in my original seed catalog video because I'd had their catalog by then. They are have been in, in business for 45 years, since 1973. They're based up in Maine. They do a lot of uh, a, uh, grow, uh, seeds for that area. Uh, they're one of the nine original signers of the Safe Seed Pledge that we talked about in an earlier video. So they're, they're dedicated to providing quality seeds and to their knowledge, they're not selling any GMOs or any of that. Uh, so that's, that's something that they've been around long enough that they were one of the first ones to sign that. Uh, they are developers of several AAS winners, which that stands for All American Selections. And I'll talk about them briefly at the end of this video. And they, this company is 100% employee owned. So uh, everybody who works there owns a share of it. So uh, with that, we'll jump right in and show you what we got. Like I said in our other video like this, we just ordered a little bit of seeds from just several different companies to just kind of get a feel for them and to get a lot of different varieties. They ship in a bubble wrap envelope and got the invoice looks pretty straightforward no problems there okay so their package is kind of on the generic side but on the back they've got a lot of information that's too fine for you to see it there but the whole back is is filled with information about i assume this one uh it's, it's got the seed specifications it's got uh it's a butternut acorn squash um it's a direct seeding rate it's got its culture transplanting direct sowing uh plant spacing diseases insect and pests when to harvest and how to store it so that's a lot of information on the back uh, on the front gives the variety uh, the germination rate of this lot that these seeds came out of this lot had 99 percent germination which was tested on 11 19 so in november so that's that's a good sign that's good information to know so with that uh, this one is uh, spaghetti squash and looking forward to growing that then this is one Ann picked out, uh, and they do also have flowers. So she picked out a dwarf sunflower called a teddy bear. So that pictures of it looked real nice. This is one I tried to grow last year, but I didn't have any luck with it. But I, it was my fault. So and it's a diva. It's a, a variety of cucumber and i'm picking this one because i'm gonna try my if you look back at my older videos i did a hydroponic experiment with a 55 gallon barrel and grew cucumbers taking the lead of that from leon sloan and 
I didn't do fair too well last year, but I told myself I'm not going to give up after one year. I'm going to try it again. Did some research, saw where I made some mistakes, and this is the variety he recommends to grow in that. So I'm going to, that's why I ordered that particular variety. And I got, like I said, that's gardening with Leon where I got that idea for the, the hydroponics. Uh, this is another flower that Ann ordered, Echinacea purpurea, or purple cone flower, I think is a common name for it. So that's Ann's flower. Another flower Ann ordered is Trailing Nasturnum Mix. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So, and again, all of these have all kinds of specific information on the back of the envelope about what variety is in there. So with that, we'll move on to the next one. Is Tomato Growers Supply Company. And they have been in business for 35 years. Uh, they mainly do tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants, which they have 500 varieties of tomatoes and peppers. And they have some other things too, which a total of over 600 varieties. Uh, they are based in Florida, uh, so they looked like they had some things that we wanted, so we thought we'd give them a try. Don't, didn't find a whole lot about them. They didn't have a lot on their website as far as about, like I always say, that I like to go read. They do have the paper catalog, as I showed you, or they've got their internet catalog. And invoice looks straightforward. Doesn't look like we had any problems there. Their envelopes are a little on the generic side, but they do have how many days they are and a, de a de description of the fruit or what are the uh, what you got here. Um, how big these are and everything. We ordered two tomato varieties and a pepper, uh, which on the pepper, it's a green bell called Chinese Giant. Uh, so there's that. And then we ordered Mrs. Maxwell's Big Italian. It's an heirloom variety. It's a beef steak, if I remember correctly. This is one Ann looked at and thought she'd want to give a shot to, so we're going to try that. And last is one I picked out to go along with my cherry tomato experiment. Well, not experiment, fun we're going to do this year. And these are Rapunzel's. And they make a long truss with a lot of uh, small red cherries, on, tomatoes on. So with that, that's the two of those and like I said that they were ordered on a Sunday afternoon and they came in on a Thursday of the same week so they uh, have a good turnaround on their orders which is always nice because you get anxious once you place your order to have them in your hand I mentioned the all-american selections and I have been seeing that on different seed varieties and different catalogs and the when I was researching the Johnny's history uh, he has gotten quite a few of these awards and what it is a the AAS for short is the only national nonprofit plant trialing organization in North America. All America Selections is an independent nonprofit organization that tests new never before sold varieties for the home gardener. After a full season of anonymous training trialing by volunteer horticulture professionals only the top garden performers are given the aas winner award designation for their superior performance and their mission statement to provide new garden varieties with superior garden performance judged in an impartial trials in north america and their purpose is to test new unsold cultivars to inform gardeners about the aas winners to earn gardeners trust in the AAS winners and their tagline is tested nationally and proven locally so if you see that AAS uh, that's what it, uh, that's all about they have their own website which they have links on there you can go back and look at past year's winners 
Uh, and like I said, uh, Johnny's over the, their 45 years have uh, had several that they've developed. So if you want to learn a little bit more, you can go check that out yourself. And with that, that is all we have for tonight. And uh, Biscuit had a rough day today and she's already taken a nap. So I want to thank everybody for coming. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you're returning, we want to thank you. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So with that, I want to thank you and have a good evening. Good night.